to my life, I'm early and someone's late. Where's Emma? Where's Emma? Right here. What? Ugh, give me one second. Sure, whatever. Boo! What? What were you doing? Getting in the Halloween spirit. It is right around the corner. What are you talking about? Halloween passed. Then it's Christmas. What? Then it's the 4th of July. What? Then it's Taco Tuesday. No! We can talk about this later, as in during the engineer report. Anyways, I'm Evelyn. And I'm Emma. Welcome to the DSL engineer report. Week of November 14th. Let's go see what stuff is going on. Fifth graders at Della Lindley Elementary School put their knowledge of the American Revolution to the test with breakout boxes. Breakout boxes are like an escape room in a box. Students had to solve puzzles to get the codes to open the locks so they could sign the Declaration of Independence before the British arrived. The countdown begins and the teams get to work. There are no more hints, and time is almost up. I liked the breakout boxes because it was a good team effort, and I liked all the hidden little details. Also, I like the invisible ink. Uh, the I like the breakout boxes because they were fun. Breakout boxes because of um, the locks are like pretty much challenging and it's really fun. Would you have what it takes to break out? Della Lonely's first Della Palooza was held Monday, November fifth. First of all, we want to thank everybody and recognize everybody who qualified to come to our first Delta Palooza. Whatever you guys did on campus and in the classroom to earn that wristband this time, you guys did an awesome job. Congratulations on making this one. Whatever you did to get here, make sure you do the same thing so you can get admission to the second and the third one because they're only going to get bigger and better. Now you guys can see some of the things that we've made sure we got to you on the way out here. The Highway Patrol was here to help practice our safety tips, and they gave you guys some laners. The Water District here was help, here to help us practice our hydration, and they gave everyone water bottles. We also have Horace Mann Insurance here to help us give away our grand prize. But one thing we want to do before we give away the grand prize, we also want to talk about sun safety. And so we have some suntan lotion to give away to a couple lucky winners also. So, first. Students rotated between three games. Musical spots. This game is kind of played like musical chairs, except with spots on the ground. It was very fun to play. Tug of War. This game is played between two teams to try and get a certain piece of the rope pulled over a pit of balls. Knockout. Same thing if you're on the yellow team and you 
make it into the great basket, knock down the great basket. First team to walk, knock down all three baskets wins. Pretty simple. Two rules though. Two rules. We'll put that up when we start. Do not cross the white line when you shoot it. Second rule, no guarding allowed. <laughs> Almost, almost. I saw what you're doing. Don't cross the white line when you shoot. Knock it down. Knock that one down. There was also a highway patrol officer there to teach us safety. The water district came and handed out free water bottles to everyone who came. Make sure you come to our next Della Palooza. We hope to see you there. Welcome to this week's entertaining Would You Rather. This week's Would You Rather is Would You Rather Have Thanksgiving Dinner with three of your favorite celebrities or with your family? I would rather eat with three celebrities of my choice because I've already ate Thanksgiving with my family for five years. I would rather spend Thanksgiving with my family because family is more important than celebrities. I would rather eat Thanksgiving dinner with three celebrities. Michael Jordan because of hook up free J's. Jalen Rose because he's a good corner on the Eagles. And Brian Dawkins because he's the beast. I would rather eat Thanksgiving with my family because I don't have three celebrities of my choice. I would rather have a meal with my family because all the people in my family are all uh, already celebrities and I'm lucky to have that already. I would rather spend Thanksgiving with my family because for me, Thanksgiving is just spending time with your family, not with other people that are not even your own family. I'd rather spend time with my family on Thanksgiving because that's the point of Thanksgiving and I don't have three celebrities. Did you know the first Thanksgiving, the pilgrims and the Indians a wild fowl, which is any wild bird like ducks, pigeons, so like pretty much any bird, deer, eels, shellfish like lobsters, clams. and muscles, not the ones in your body. Do you have Instagram? No. Snapchat? Still no. Then what do you have? A life? I legit just got a phone call from someone saying, this is our last courtesy call regarding your credit card account. Like, boo-boo, I don't even have a credit card account. So stop trying to come for me. Stop trying to take the money that I do not have. Hey, Sarah, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Dad. What are you thankful for? Starbucks and gas money. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. Keep on talking behind my back. And I'ma hit you with a shoe. Oh my god, thank you so much for the happy Thanksgiving text. Like, I know how much you love me now because it's the one text you sent me! I saw a five-year-old with a phone today. Who would you need to talk to? Ring ring, hey Dora. On my way, Mickey Mouse's club. Oh, I think that I found myself a unicorn. How did you get into my house? Just tell me, I give up. It's Thanksgiving, duh. I was just going to say that. Uh-huh, sure. I hope you know your holidays so you don't end up like me. Bye.